Hi, hi everybody. Good evening. I hope uh, you all can hear me properly. My name is Sunil Barve. I'm a theater actor from Marathi stage, and uh, I'm so glad that I'm associated with Little More. And I really can't actually do anything for the kind of work that these people are doing. but uh, in such ways i can just be associated with them so i'm very glad and i wish them all the success always little more so uh, the topic today as i have selected is going to be the journey of an actor and as you all must be aware that we've just lost a very fine actor a very super fine actor of our industry mr irfan khan so i i really want to you know wish his family well may god give them all the support to get out of this very difficult situation in their lives irfan we will miss you always uh, mr kamlesh pandey was uh, live here on this platform a few days ago so he sent a message because uh, i think in one of his films jazba he delivered two beautiful lines to unhone kaha ki ye ye line bahut achhi deliver ki thi irfan ne aur i miss him very much to wo line ye thi rishton mein vishwas aur mobile mein network na ho to log game khelna shuru kar dete hain aur dusri line hai mohabbat hai isliye jaane diya zid hoti to baahon mein hoti तो ये लाइनें अब पढ़ने के बाद मुझे भी ऐसा लग रहा है कि मैं ये जज्बा फिल्म दोबारा देखूं इरफान के लिए इरफान वी रियली मिस यू एंड आई वाज वांटिंग टू एक्ट विथ हिम बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली ये हो नहीं पाया खैर चलो चलते हैं सो मेरी जर्नी की तरफ बढ़ते हैं वैसे तो खुद के बारे में बोलने को इतना अच्छा नहीं लगता मुझे पर तारीफ न करते हुए ये कहना चाहूंगा कि आई बीन इन दिस इंडस्ट्री फॉर द लास्ट मोर देन थर्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव ईयर्स ना मेरा पहला प्ले जो था वो था अफलातून मराठी में और हमारे एक बहुत ही उम्दा डायरेक्टर थे विनय आप्टे जी जो दूरदर्शन पे उन दिनों काम करते थे नौकरी में थे और ही वॉज अ डिरेक्टर देर ऑन दूरदर्शन प्रोड्यूसर ऑन दूरदर्शन so uh, i happened to meet him once uh, through a workshop that was held by mrs sudha karmarkar sudha karmarkar ji ne ek workshop jo hota na 12th hone ke baad bachcha yahan wahan bhatakta rahega usse acha usko kahin kaam pe laga do to mere mom ne mujhe ek workshop attend karne ko kaha tha jiska naam tha let go एक्टिविटी का नाम था लिटिल थिएटर ड्यूरिंग समर वेकेशन सी दिस इज अंसिडेंस फाउंड आउट कि वो लिटिल थिएटर था ये लिटिल मोर है सो लिटिल थिएटर में मैंने वर्कशॉप uh, करने के बाद मेरा एक दोस्त और विनय आपते उन दिनों अफलातुन नाम का एक प्ले डायरेक्ट कर रहे थे जो विक्रम भागवत जी ने लिखा था और जो म्यूजिकल प्ले था जिसमें दो टीम्स थी एक कॉलेज गोइंग गैंग आपने वो शाहरुख की फिल्म देखी होगी फॉरगेट द नेम एवरी टाइम जो मंसूर खान ने डायरेक्ट की थी जोश शायद तो वेस्ट साइड स्टोरी पर बेस्ड ये प्ले था जहां पे दो गैंग्स थी एक गैंग कॉलेज की थी और एक गैंग गुंडों की थी और कॉलेज गैंग को लीड करता था हमारा बहुत ही बेहतरीन एक्टर दिलीप कुलकर्णी विनय आपटे यू टू प्ले इंस्पेक्टर इन दैट एंड आई वाज सिलेक्टेड एज अ लीड सिंगर इन दैट प्ले वहां से मेरी जर्नी शुरू हुई उससे पहले जब मैं कॉलेज में दाखिल हुआ था तब मेरे सर पे ये था कि मैं मिलिट्री में जाना चाहते हैं तो एनसीसी से बहुत ही प्रभावित था और एनसीसी के सुबह के जो सेशंस होते थे उसमें मैं बहुत 
बहुत पूर्ति से काम करता था भागता था तो मुझे ये था कि मैं मिलिट्री में दाखिल हो जाऊंगा ट्वेल्थ जैसी ट्वेल्थ के एग्जाम्स हुए और मैंने लिटिल थिएटर ज्वाइन किया और फिर विनय एप्टे के टीम में दाखिल हुआ तो मुझे ऐसा लगा कि नहीं ये ये मुझे ज्यादा पसंद है क्योंकि तब तक मुझे सिर्फ प्ले देखना और एक्टर्स की तारीफ करना इतना ही पता था पर उस उसके पीछे कितनी मेहनत लगती है या कितने लोग काम करते हैं एक प्ले को स्टेज करने में कितना समय लगता है ये सब पता ही नहीं था जब मैंने वो सब डायमेंशन देखे स्टेज के सो so एक्चुअली ऐसा कहा जाए कि मैंने जब भी वो पूरा एक राउंड ट्रिप ले लिया टूर ले लिया प्ले के निर्माण का तब मुझे पता चला कि ओ माय गॉड दिस इज अमेजिंग लाइक एक कोई लेखक होता है जिसके दिमाग में कोई आइडिया आती है वो आइडिया को पेन डाउन करता है देन ही डिवाइड्स इट इनटू सीन्स देन ही डिवाइड्स देम इनटू टू और थ्री एक्ट्स देन ही डिवाइड्स दो सीन्स इनटू डायलॉग्स व्हिच आर स्टेज्ड और व्हिच आर कोरियोग्राफ्ड प्रॉपर्ली ऑन द ऑन द स्टेज बाय द डायरेक्टर एंड जब वो पर्दा खुलता है वहां से जो प्ले शुरू होता है या वहां से जो जो हार्ट बीट एक गश जो होता है एड्रेनलिन गश जो शुरू होता है वो जब एंड का कर्टन पड़ता है तब तक वो इट इज इट इज स्टिल देर यू नो द हार्ट बीट इज स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड वेरी फास्ट एंड देर आर मेनी पीपल हु एक्चुअली मेक दैट वन परफॉर्मेंस है It's not just the actors, but there are dressmen, there are music players, there are set changing people. There is a lightman who adjusts the lights. So many people, and they need to be in in coordination with each other for just this one performance. So even if there are two actors on stage, there are more than fifteen. backstage artists i would say who are helping them perform this play for those 3 or 2 or 4 hours so that was really amazing and to have that kind of a vision so when we in in the play that i did aflatun there were nearly 23 characters okay so we from the college gang were nearly 10 to 13 of us and 10 of them were from the gunda side there were stalwarts in that play like i said dilip kulkarni was there uh, vinay apte himself was playing the inspector then there was a very uh, a very classy actor from gujarati theater mr kishor bhat i remember he used to uh, he used to sing a song in that play fal tun cha cha samdhi gosht aikate pahate फाल संधि गोष्ट ऐकते पहाते हे दिकरी तुझा आख मंदी मला प्यार दिसते फाल तुम चाचा सो दिस वॉज द सॉन्ग विच ही यूज टू सिंग एंड यू वॉज अ बिट शॉर्ट इन म्यूजिक यू नो आई वुड से यू वॉज अ फैंटेस्टिक एक्टर बट समटाइम्स होता है ना कि सभी लोग अच्छा गा सकते हैं या प्रॉपर बीट पे गा सकते हैं ऐसा नहीं होता दे माइट अंडरस्टैंड द सॉन्ग दे माइट अंडरस्टैंड द लिरिक्स बट दे आर नॉट एग्जैक्टली ऑन द बीट सो वी ऑल यूज टू बी स्टैंडिंग इन द विंग्स एंड गिविंग इन द बीट फाल तुम चाचा संधि गोष्ट एंड यूज टू ऑलवेज गो फॉर एंड यूज टू कम इन एंड कर्स ऑल ऑफ अस से अरे तुम तू भी चुप होता माला so that was a very funny thing and he was, he was he was a very jolly fellow he never had a, a, a frown on his face you know he was every time you could find him pulling somebody's legs so he was there in the play uh, chandu parkhi was there a very again a very noted actor from marathi theater so that's how my journey began and uh, again there were people like uh, mahesh manjrekar sachin khedekar 
who were there with me who rather began their careers with me uh, now they are they're bigger so i should say uh, i began my career with these two fabulous actors and friends of mine so the journey began from there and then i was pretty well known uh, at that time at that point of time amongst the producers that i sing well so there was another play which we did which was a hit in those times that was uh, uh, acharya atre's moruchi maushi and uh, they used to perform nearly uh, 60 50 to 60 shows in a month prashant damle used to play the role of moru then and uh, prashant was then cast in a new play of uh, acharya atre again that was brahmachari and so he couldn't manage or he couldn't cope up with the dates of moruchi maushi so uh, our producer sudhir bhat was looking out for uh, some actor who could replace prashant damle and i was the fortunate one the lucky one to you know grab that uh, opportunity so then i started playing the moruchi maushi i started doing nearly 50 shows 30 shows a month like during many uh, summer vacations i have really done 60 year shows also in we used to perform like uh, we have in marathi theater we have shows on sunday morning 11 o'clock 4 o'clock and 8:30 pm so we used to have all the three slots at one theater and all the three shows house full so that was that was the kind of a hit that uh, i performed in those days i'm talking about 87 87 to 90 is the period that uh, i did moruchi maushi and i did nearly 750 to 800 shows looking back i feel oh my god that was a huge number while i was doing all this i was obviously in college unfortunately uh, during those times there were only two two spardhas two inter inter college competitions that used to happen and that was uh, one was int the other was unmesh and both the competitions there was this rule that any actor who has performed more than 80 shows in a year could be considered as a commercial actor and so he couldn't perform in uh, in intercollegiate competitions so i couldn't ever participate in intercollegiate competitions because i was doing more than 100 200 shows in a year nevertheless i used to be with the college troop always cheering them up and helping them doing back do backstage my college days also were fabulous i i my college was patkar college from goregaon west that was the very famous college then and uh, i did my graduation in chemistry bsc bsc graduate well i wouldn't say um, that i was a very studious or a very brilliant student i could have been brilliant but uh, i was busy doing commercial theater at that point of time and my parents would uh, you know wouldn't have agreed for any less so i just could manage and get myself promoted to the next year still yet i goofed up one or two years and i had a, a thrashing of my life then from my mother because my mother was a teacher in the in the in the neighboring school there she retired as a principal from that school and she was a very strict teacher okay so my friends many of them have uh, many times had thrashings from her too so they knew how how strict my mother was and so uh, i could just barely manage to you know get myself admitted or promoted to the next uh, division yet it took me 3 to 4 years again to complete my graduation in 1990 i passed out and uh, that was the point when i really had to sit back and think because i was very active in doing commercial theater yeah that reminds me uh, just one year before i graduated i did a film called atmavishwas with uh, mr sachin pelgaukar <clears throat> so as you can imagine those times uh, when uh, doordarshan used to play only 
in the evenings not day long and there were films which were promoted with those huge posters on walls my posters were flashing everywhere on the walls near my college so my collar was tight hoti so i was very you know this walk with great pomp <laughs> but of course once i reached college my friends used to see to it that they bring me down so my career graph was moving smoothly and slowly but in the right direction towards my acting career and so when i passed out in 1990 you know, there was one period when uh, i had to make a decision whether i had to pursue acting as my career or whether i was going to serve somewhere being from a middle class family obviously my parents were of the second later opinion that uh, i need to work somewhere take up a job and then pursue my passion or my my hobbies whatever so i took up a job in us vitamins as a medical representative yeah so i felt okay now this is the thing that i'm going to do because uh, i was a bsc in chemistry so obviously i could uh, apply for any pharmaceutical companies only so us vitamins hired me i worked there for a month i used to uh, handle malad west area i used to do all the calls attend all the doctors so malad marwe malwani mad island these were the remote remote areas inside uh, uh, which were never attended so many a times when i went there the doctors used to say are us vitamins are wa aapka mr hai abhi tak aap ho kahan the itne saal so that could give me a, an idea that my previous mrs haven't ever reached there i with full dedication i tried to do that job but but somewhere i was missing those rehearsals because at that same point uh, a friend of mine uh, antarnatya this this group which were doing midsummer's nights dream then written by rajiv naik obviously that was a marathi translation that they did ain vasantat ardha ratri so i missed doing that play then and i felt very bad about that and for some reason my so unnecessarily you know felt that i was not doing my job properly so i uh, i felt now this is the point i i couldn't take it anymore so i told my boss i'm not uh, working here as it is i was fed up and i was missing doing theater so i decided to quit my job so in a in a month's time i was out of us vitamins and uh, then again my search for uh, plays began at that point vinay apte was then doing a play called one room kitchen so i did one room kitchen then in 91 chandrakant kulkarni and lata narvekar approached me for a play called the char chauki so i did char chauki again and since then i have never looked back in 93 approximately see any actor who 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 wants to pursue acting as his career has this dream of uh, entering hollywood right so it wasn't any different with me even i felt that i need to do hindi films and i need to be in the hindi circuit i don't uh, i i didn't want to restrict myself only to this regional regional theater kind of a area i want to be to go all over so i wanted to do national television i wanted to do uh, hindi films and so I, t- i was trying for that too i was 
giving auditions, but unfortunately, I couldn't get any. Suddenly, one fine day, uh, a friend of mine, uh, a friend now, though, uh, Mr. Paresh Kamdar approached me. And he was doing a film for NFTC. The film's name was uh, Tunnuki Tina. So he asked me whether I would like to do that role of Tunnu. I was, I just nearly pounced on it. At that point, uh, Charsaugi was doing very good, going very strong. Like again, as I said, it, though being a serious play, uh, we were nearly doing again nearly 50, 20, 25 shows a month. So, uh, excuse me, there are some questions popping up, which I'm again trying to you know, read them and answer them. Well, I'll do that in some time. Yeah. So, uh, I did the Tunnu Kitina, NFDC film. Unfortunately, uh, the film didn't get a good release at that time. It was released in some uh, festival and that too in a broken period. Like, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, three days of one week and uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of the next week. And in between, they played a children's film festival. They ran a children's film festival. So it got a broken period uh, of release also. Well, I don't, I can't crib about that because that was it. So, but I, I really couldn't do that well then. I, I took my pictures, I took my showreel to many producers and showed them. They liked my work. Then Mr. Kundan Shah, he had liked my work. So he asked me whether I would love to do a Hindi serial. Then I did a serial for uh, In Mumbai channel. There was this channel called In Mumbai. So I did a serial called Abhi to Mai Jawan, in which I was paired opposite uh, Sukanya Kulkarani. And then my journey obviously began in Hindi also. I did uh, Koi Surat Nazar Nahi Aati. Dehli's Kaun Apna Kaun Paraya on Sony. Yeah, there are so many serials which I did in Hindi. But I was really doing well in Marathi also. I was doing Marathi plays. <clears throat> I was doing many shows in a month. So I was pretty busy uh, doing, doing theater. And so I missed many opportunities also. Like uh, uh, there was this show called uh, Movers in Shakers. And there were two instances when I could have really got a chance to be there with Shekhar Sumanji. But unfortunately, as no, I, I, I believed and I still believe that my first commitment always stands high. So I had already given my dates to the theater people. I had my shows planned and any shoots that you could that would just pop up, I would say no to them if I am committed somewhere. So I did a film for Mahesh Manjrekar also, a film called Nidan. That was his first Hindi film as a director. At that time also, uh, I had the, I had this chance of going to Moors' Chikas, but I missed it. The second chance was when we did Astitva. Again, Mahesh Manjrekar's film with Tabu and Sachin Khedekar, Stalwarts. Uh, and in two, I was also there. So I had a chance of going there again, but I missed it again because of my shows. Huh. So all said and done, uh, I was pretty busy doing theater and many serials. After the advent of uh, Marathi private channels like uh, Z Marathi coming in, Arey, this is a, another interesting part that I need to tell you all. Uh, when Marathi uh, channels, so rather Z Marathi started to decide, or Z people decided to start their Marathi channel, uh, they want, they were doing a test run. So what they did was, uh, they had these Hindi serials dubbed in Marathi, and they used to air them. 
and i used to do the dubbing for many many hindi serials so i did that also and that really taught me a lot because i could uh, the actor that i used to dub i could get to see his histrionics his style of acting i could uh, i could you know i could learn about how the delivery needs to be done how this the microphone that is placed in front of me is so sensitive that uh, how does it how, what impact it leaves when i use my low notes what impact it leaves when i use my uh, higher notes uh, when i shriek when i shrill i need to go back i need to come front come ahead uh, and near the mic so all these all these things i got to learn during these dubbing sessions that i had when i used to dub for hindi serials so that was again a very good learning experience for me uh 2000 i think we started doing uh, uh, or other z marathi uh, came up with this alpha marathi channel and since then again uh, i have been doing marathi serials for quite some time now that i'm still doing yeah pretty busy with uh, marathi serials and marathi plays also now uh, after i completed the uh, 25 years in this industry okay i used to continuously feel that whenever we go for auditions or whenever we are asked to prepare for an audition we use these old plays and the script that they have to perform and we always hear about people about our, you know our elders talking about actors of the of the era gone by you know like we used to hear are you should have seen dr lagu perform in nata samrat or you should have seen kashinath ghanekar do the role of lalya in guntata hrday you should have seen bhakti barve perform as ti phulrani in pula deshpande's play also so we used to hear all these things but we never got a chance to do such kind of plays which had those huge those big glass which needed kind of a you know a, a very theatrical kind of a Uh, acting ability so i used to feel why don't we try doing that why shouldn't i do these old plays again in new setup because we have got good actors at that point actors also were doing too much of television too much of films but nobody was too keen to do uh, to do marathi theater so i told them what if we do only 25 shows of each play and the actors were just like the idea and i did this project called herbarium in which i did five plays of the era gone by i did surya chi pille by vasant kanetkar which was directed by pratima kulkarni i did uh, lahan pan dega deva a play written by bal kulhatkar which was directed by mangesh kadam then i did a play uh, hamida bai chi kothi which was written by anil barve and directed by chandrakant kulkarni then i did a play called andhra devate by shahir sabre it was a folk play a folk theater so a lokanatya uh, which was directed by his grandson kedar shinde and the last one was jhupi gelela jaga jala so i did this uh, project in 2010 which of which uh, i did 25 shows of each play and this entire project herbarium ended in 2012 2017 again i tried to do a second run of that herbarium 2 unfortunately uh, the times then had changed there was this uh, entrance of gst on the on the one theater tickets also so that really gave me a big huge setback so i couldn't complete that uh, project i just did, did one play by venkatesh madgulkar uh, the play name of the play was pati gele ga thewadi which was directed by vijay kengre so now and here i am doing uh, acting still um, i think i have uh, run through my career in bits and pieces i might have missed a few events that i needed to share with you uh, there are there were a few questions which uh, were asked to me how was my college life or how do because i used to be 
बिट थोड़ा सा मैं डेयरिंग करने में मुझे अच्छा लगता था कि मैं इसीलिए मैंने वो जो प्रोजेक्ट किया वो भी इसी इसी इम्पेटस के साथ किया इसी ड्राइव के साथ किया और मेरा ये कहना है कि इफ यू हैव दैट ड्राइव इन यू यू शुड नॉट स्टॉप यू शुड मूव अहेड सक्सेस फॉलोज यू एंड इट रियली सक्सीडेड इट रियली वॉज अ ह्यूज सक्सेस एक स्टिल पीपल से की नाटक नाटकाच्या इतिहासामध्ये नेहमी नाव लिहिलं जाईल असं असा एक प्रोजेक्ट झाला फॉर्च्युनेट अँड आय एम थँकफुल टू द ऑडियन्स दॅट सपोर्टेड मी अँड माय फ्रेंड्स ऑब्विसली माय ऍक्टर फ्रेंड्स माय डिरेक्टर फ्रेंड्स हू सपोर्टेड मी इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट आय वुड ऑलवेज बी इंडेटेड टू दॅम देन आय ऑलवेज यूज टू फील दॅट डॉक्युमेंटेशन ऑन द मराठी सर्किट इज नॉट दॅट वेल डन सो आय फील इफ आय हॅव डन दिस प्रोजेक्ट अँड इफ इट्स if it's called if it's said to be an esteemed project why shouldn't i not document it properly so i uh, wrote down all the incidences or all the experiences that i had during this play uh, during this uh, project and i uh, i published a book and i asked my actor friends my director friends also to write about their experiences about uh, staging or uh, building up this play uh, that particular play and so we've got we had all these actors and directors and some audience giving in their feedbacks but the some some of the backstage artists also so i compiled them together and have it and, and i published it as a book herbarium in 2012 itself so if anybody is interested they can please go and buy this book the name of the book is herbarium which has a name as my name as author but actually all people who are part of that project have a part in it <clears throat> i was also told um, to talk about my wife aparna yeah because uh, during this lockdown period uh, i was really really amazed when she decided for those 21 days she would paint one yeah she is a commercial artist by the way so I'll just to see you to her you know, so she is a commercial artist and uh, she is a good painter so she decided to do one painting a day and post it on facebook and instagram initially i thought that she will begin but she wouldn't be able to complete it but to my surprise and to my happiness she completed that and after finishing the 21st after posting the 21st painting she declared that she she was going to sell these paintings and whatever money was generated she was going to donate it to the police welfare or to the police department because they are doing an outstanding and amazing job out there when we are sitting safe and secure inside our homes so so she is going to do that and she just declared that and you know jiffy all the paintings were gone and she is now going to donate that money to some somebody in the police department like who's been suffering from this pandemic or to the police welfare yes gargi farid thank you i can read kudos to aparna for her commitment <laughs> I'm glad to. I'll just follow. Abu. I'll just call her. She, she's yeah. I call her Abu, and many of my friends uh, who are very close to me call her Abuna or Abu. Hey Abu. So I'll call her. In the meantime, I'll share some of the paintings that she did. Okay. So this was one painting. then this is the number one can you see it i hope you can see it in this one during ram navmi she felt she needs to do something of this sort so she did this then this this painting yeah okay so this is my wife aparna hi 
And this is another painting which he did. And this is another one, a morning one. So there are many. You can see them on a, on my page also. But Mala Angalaudil ki Aparna is my wife. How did I get to know her? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Gargi Fadi is saying salute to you. Hi. Deepa Kamath is saying a very nice gesture by her. Thank you, Deepa. Mm. And uh, I got to know Aparna since my college days, okay. Gargi Fadi is saying hi to her. Hi, hi Gargi. <laughs> so, uh, during college only, when I was in the 12th, she was in the 11th standard and I spotted her. I didn't give her a chance to look anywhere else and just grabbed her and brought her home. <laughs> well, it didn't happen then. After I graduated, I introduced her to my parents and then since then, we've, we've got two kids. My elder daughter is Saneka and my son Meetum is a good fan of and Thank you, Nitin Deshpande. So, and then I've got Son Atharva. Both of them are now doing. My daughter is a UX UI designer working for Microsoft, and my son is in his last year of college. He is again into visual communication and strategic branding. Again, uh, um, a faculty of design. Gitali Pawar is saying beautiful paintings and good intention. Thank, Thank you, you, Gitali. Thank you, Gitali. Yeah. Nowhere can we match your intentions of doing such a yeah. noble cause a little more. Gitali Gargi. Yes, thank you so much, Gargi. <laughs> so this was the journey uh, which uh, I did. And now I may Aparna se kahunga ke wo uska jo khayal tha, uska jo, uski jo soul uske baare mein, ye lockdown ke baare mein, uske baare mein kuch kahe. Actually, we were not prepared for lockdown. Uh, Shopping mode में थे, बेटी की shopping चल रही थी, मेरी shopping चल रही थी, और suddenly we got to know कि एक दिन का curfew, जनरल का curfew है, तो मुझे सोचा अच्छा है इधर जाना नहीं जाना, हमारे station के पास है तो बहुत भीड़ रहती है, तो आवाज नहीं आएगा एक दिन, पूरा शांति ही रहेगी, लेकिन उसके बाद माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने लिख दिया कि किस दिन का लॉकडाउन करना पड़ेगा कोरोना वायरस की वजह से सो एक्सेप्ट टोटली बिकॉज़ इट वाज फॉर आवर गुड हेल्थ तो मैंने सोचा एक ही दिन घर पे बैठना है तो क्यों ना कुछ अच्छा काम किया जाए मैं आज हूं लेकिन थोड़ा थोड़ी लेजी हूं तो करती नहीं हूं पेंटिंग बहुत ज्यादा करना चाहती हूँ लेकिन थोड़ा करके हाँ बाद में करूँगी बाद में करूँगी ऐसा हो रहा है तो ये अब लोग चैलेंज है तो सोशल मीडिया पे कैसे देते हैं खुद को तो करना ही पड़ेगा पोस्ट डालना ही है पेंटिंग पोस्ट डालनी ही है अगर घर के लिए घर में ही करूँगी तो नहीं वाला है कि लोग कल करते ऐसा होता ह� तो मैंने वो डिसाइड किया और मैंने क्या सोचा कि लॉकडाउन में घर में रहना है पूरा बंद तो जब भी हम लोग को कुछ करने को कहा जाता है कंपलसरी तो हम लोग सोचते हैं कि नहीं ये तोड़ना ही है जेरी किसी को पसंद नहीं जैसे फ्रीडम सबको पसंद है वैसे मुझे लगा मैं किधर मुझे घर पे रहूँगी तो मुझे किधर जाना पसंद रहेगा तो मैंने सोचा जिधर जिधर मुझे जाना पसंद हो वो वो पेंटिंग में करूँ जैसे पहाड़ों पर समुद्र के किनारे नदी के किनारे या कोई बगीचे में खेतों में ऐसे तो मैंने सभी पेंटिंग आउटडोर की की है और लास्ट पेंटिंग है जो मैंने इंडोर की है क्योंकि लॉकडाउन बढ़ गया है किसवें दिन पे मैंने इंडोर पेंटिंग ही की है घर का बरांडा जैसे रहता है ना आंगन वैसे दिखाया है तो वो मैंने सोचा कि चलो लॉकडाउन बढ़ गया है लेकिन मेरे किस पेंटिंग की थी होगी लेकिन जिनकी वजह से मैंने पेंटिंग पूरी की एक तो थैंक्स टू कोरोना वायरस क्योंकि इसकी वजह से बंद हुआ और सब मेरी पेंटिंग फिर मैंने सोचा कि ये पेंटिंग मैं ये खाली ऐसे ही कर रही हूँ 
लोग इतना खुश हो रहे लोग मुझे बोल रहे कि में आप अच्छे से एग्जिबिट कर रहे हो तो उससे अच्छा मैं ये पूछा कि अगर एनीबडी भी इंटरेस्टेड इन बाय पेंटिंग उससे जो भी राशि जमा जमा हो मेरे पास वो मैं अपने पुलिस भाइयों के लिए देना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि वो जो रिस्क ले रहे हैं वो और सफाई कर्मचारी वो जो रिस्क ले रहे हैं अपनी जान की लॉकडाउन के तुरंत बाद में और सुनील फाइंड आउट करेंगे और उनको उनसे बात हो चुकी है तो उनको डोनेट करेंगे वो राशि So I'm very happy that everyone contributed in this cause. Gita Ali, Gita Ali has asked a question that if you have taken the work of the work, you have to take it home. So I don't think that's the thing. The cheese here, she can vouch for it. I never get my character's home. So after the work of the work, after coming to the house, and after coming to the house, I'm completely sunny. The person that she loved. Always. In college. I like Shilpa Jogalikar is saying sweet Shilpa Gita Ali is saying very good Aparna Gita Ali ne ya Gargi ne aur ek sawal puchha tha Do you like prefer doing stage or theater Well obviously I prefer doing theater as for my likings, you know, I like it very much. So, I prefer to prefer to do it because Ditti Rajurkar is saying great effort, good intention, dear Aparna. Then, the immediate response on stage is that what you are doing, the receipt is that you get the receipt immediately. If you have done a good job or a bad job. And another thing is, it is, I love it because the, the, the kind of the feeling that you get on stage when you when you enter that uh, that particular area and there's one spot which comes on you the entire rest of the area is pitch dark just you are illuminated you are the character you are to yourself and you're doing something which gives too much happiness to yourself as well as teaching you so i i just love that space of stage and another interaction which I have with the audience. So I really like doing it. Shweta Khare is saying hi. Hi, hi Shweta. Yeah, there was someone who said that we would like to sing. So importance of reading, observation and acting. Well, the importance of reading, I don't think you have to, you know, like reading. Any person who is fond of reading books turns out to be a very mature kind of a personality in his life, I believe. That's belief. I might be absolutely wrong. You might prove me wrong. But I have seen people who have who have wasted their lives wrong, and people who have and turning out to be I've seen people who've, uh, you know, really groomed themselves well because of, of reading good books and good literature. So I think it's any day good for, uh, and as an actor too, because it makes me understand many other characters or people write about many other characters and I, know, I can identify with them if, if I get a chance to do that kind of character. So reading obviously helps me as an actor too. Nilakshi, hello both of you. Thank you. Aparna ji, you have proved the saying true. There is a will, there is a way. Okay, Deepa, thank you. Thank you. So, I was uh, about talking about a song. So, there was this film called Lapanda, which we did. We always sing a song for you. So, I'll sing that song for you. That's a Marathi song. The song is Tujat Jeeva Guntala. कड़े लकार 
कधी तुला कळेल का कधी तुला कळेल का कधी तुला तेच स्वप्नोचनी तुझेच नाग चिनी इथे तिथे सबोवती थे तिथे सबोवती तूच भाषी मला तुझ्यात जीव बुंत या गार्गी फरीदे सिंग वेन आर यू कमिंग टू दुबई या talk about amar photo studio yeah okay that's another step in my life that i had to take or rather i very happily have taken uh, being a producer for a, a fresh play by young talented actors from uh, marathi amateur theater so there was uh, the serial going on the uh, duniyadari in which uh, ame wag urad joshi sakhi gop they approached me so i wanted to do something on stage we wanted to do a play and we struck upon this idea of uh, having a written by manaswini lata ravindra and uh, directed by nipun dharmadikari and we we did the, the play titled amar photo studio uh, was premiered in 2016 13th august 2016 and uh, since then we've done nearly 346 shows of that play uh, we could have crossed yeah we we did one show in dubai so we crossed the we could cross 350 now but uh, my play tamar photo studio was doing a tour of america of usa and we and the team landed in america and this pipe just grabbed hold of the entire world you know and america also so we had to cut short our tour rather cancel all the shows all we did only three shows there on the 6th 7th and 8th of march and the rest of the shows had to be cancelled and the team we brought back we were quarantined here for 14 days everybody is fit and fine <clears throat> so we'll be performing and looking forward to you know performing more shows now as an actor uh, now to sum it up because we are nearly 48 minutes down so any question you feel like asking me please please ask me yeah yeah i'll do i'll, I'll sing another song okay. or something yeah. huh yeah. oh yeah yeah so she 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 take your leave yeah thank so what was i talking about what's the secret of you you're always so humble and ground oh gitali thank you so much thank you i think uska shreya nahi jata mere parents ko jata hai because i think i got the best of their genes and so good i'm humble maybe their teachings has helped me and god has been kind you people help me chance shweta kare okay so i'll sing another song this is from a uh, clip uh, sar sar shirve so i'll sing that song sar sar shirve duniya vada paus sara aandaacha paus पडावा माझ्या गणी पळावा ओले चिंब मन झाले भरुनी आले डोळे ओले चिंब मन झाले भरुनी आले डोळे एका एकी निळा नभाचे झाले काळू खतळे वीज कडाडून यावी झंझावात यावा 
आनंदाचा पाऊस माझ्या अंगणी पडावा माझ्या अंगणी पडावा <coughs> सर सर शिरवे घेवा वेडा पाऊस वारा आनंदाचा पाऊस माझ्या अंगणी पडावा माझ्या अंगणी पडावा येस सो आपल्या पत्नीचा पत्नीला तुम्हाला आवडलेले काम अच्छा पत्नीला बऱ्यापैकी काम आवडत आणि जसं मला विचारलं जातं की तुम्हाला आवडलं तुमच्यापर्यंत आम्ही जे जे काम करतो ना नट सुद्धा नटांना सुद्धा मला वाटतं की त्या त्या कामामध्ये इंटरेस्ट तेव्हा असतो त्या कामामध्ये वाचन चाललेलं असतं त्याचा आपला असतो त्यामुळे तो तो रोल त्या त्या वेळेला आवडत असतो तो तो रोल जवळचा वाटत असतो त्यामुळे रेट्रोस्पेक्टमध्ये बघितलं तर मागचं काम नंतर तुम्ही जेव्हा परत बघतो तेव्हा असं वाटतं की अरे किती वाईट काम केलंय आपण तुम्ही कुठल्याही चांगल्या नटाला विचारा तोच सांगेल की आधीच काम बघितलं तर अरे थोडासा कमी बघितलं थोडं इथे जास्ती करायला पाहिजे ते थोडस करायला हवं तो जास्त क्रिटिकली स्वतःकडे मी आधीच्या कामाकडे बघत असतो आणि आत्ताच्या कामामध्ये त्या चुका होऊ नयेत या दृष्टीने अभ्यास करत असतो त्यामुळे मला वाटतं की आत्ता मी जी एक मालिका करतोय सहकुटुंब सवार नावाची प्रवाहावरती सॉरी आय स्विच टू मराठी आय थिंक मेनी ऑफ मेनी ऑफ दीपल दॅट आर अटेंडिंग मी राईट नाव मस्ट बी अंडरस्टँड सो सो एम डुईंग मॅ एक सिरियल कर राहू स्टार प्रवाह होते मराठीच्या जिसका नाम है सह कुटुंब सह परिवार और वो किरदार मुझे बहुत पसंद है बिकॉज स्टोर का जो मालिक होता है आई एम विथ मोबाइल थैंक्स फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स यू हैव अ वंडरफुल जेम ऑफ अ पर्सन सचिन साळू के यू आर जस्ट लव युअर कॉन्वर्सेशन थँक यू सचिन साळू के and hats off to the job that you are doing he sachin saunke is from the mumbai police department he says so sagatna majya kadun salam sang majya kadun majya bayko kadun mala kadun ani tumhi amcha sathi itki seva ahat so tya sathi saglyan tarfe aaj je ithe that live memorial sanshtha tarfe sudha tumche mana pasun aabhar disit mana tata khare singh utesh dubai india तहसीलदार समजत नाही मराठीत बोला ना शिन साहेब मी मराठीत बोलायला माझी काहीच हरकत नाही आहे इथे मला अनेक नावं अशी दिसत आहेत की ज्यांना कदाचित कळणार नाही असं वाटते मला म्हणून मी मराठीत बोलत नाही हिंदीत बोलतोय पण माझं हिंदी इतकं वाईट आहे असं म्हणताय तुम्ही तहसीलदार साहेब तसं असेल तर तसंही सांगा तर तेही सुधारणार आहेत ना करेन मी मी इंग्लिश मध्येही बोललो होतो इंग्लिशही वाईट आहे असं नका म्हणतो मला मी इंग्लिश मिडियम मध्ये शिकलोय माझ्या सगळ्या टीचर्स माझ्या घराबाहेर येतील सो प्लीज पण तरी म्हणजे मराठीत बोलणं हे किती सोपं असतं आणि इंग्लिश मध्ये मी पहिल्यांदाच कॉन्व्हर्स करतोय लाईफ वगैरे म्हणजे सो चूक बोल घ्यावी अगर मेसे कोणी गलती हो गई हो तो मी माफ कर देना मी पहिला अटेम्प्ट था मी बहुत नर्वस था सेशन बिगिन हुआ था थोडासा रिलीज रिलॅक्स होतो थँक्यू फॉर युअर रिस्पॉन्स थँक्यू गीताली एनी रोल दॅट वॉज डिफिकल्ट टू इनॅक्ट वेल डू ए मेनी रोल लाईक एज एट आय डिड सील लाईक द रोल इन अस्तो इफ यू सीन द फिल्म दॅट वॉज अ डिफिकल्ट रोल फर्स्टली व्हेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी टू ऍक्सेप्ट सचिन खेडेकर व्हेरी क्लोज फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड टू ऍक्सेप्ट हिम एज मदर बहुत आनंद बोलना था अपनी मम्मी को मेरे लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट था वेन आई कंसिडर वेन आई 
I'm looking at somebody as my mother, like Tabu Ji, Tabu Ji ko mujhe bhot gandhi bhaasha ke saath baas ki ar bartaaf karna tha. So mujhse, mere liye wo thoda sa difficult tha. Though I did my best at that time and people really hated me for that also. So that was actually a certificate from the audience that I had done a good job. My role tha phir ek asambhav naam ki kisi ki jane ko psychiatry. थिएटर में जाके ग्रीन पर देखने की जो देखने का जो मजा है वो वेबकैम पे या या नेट पे देखने में मजा नहीं है सो so, टीवी पे भी देखो तो उसका उसका ग्रैंड इतना नहीं आता है सो फॉर मी पर्सनली आई आई स्टिल प्रेफर डूइंग फिल्म्स टू वेब सीरीज काली माती मेरा पानी प्लीज सिंग दिस सॉन्ग वेल ओके द क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आई जस्ट ट्राइंग टू language is not the issue your feelings is just question certain sound uh sundar maharashtra tu cha chahte na marathi sangle yeto amala hindi samjhat nahi ani yet nahi manun marathi bola ashi viranti hai so yes mi marathi bolto hai marathi bolna cha prayatna hi karin chandan sir pan thoda sa apan motha monit sagan sathi dakhavto tasa apan dakhavya thoda vel mala hindi te hi sahan kariya ki प्ले कर रहे थे और उसमें बिकॉज आई वॉज देर देर वॉज वन सॉन्ग ऑल्सो इन दैट टू प्ले एंड आई यूज टू सिंग दैट सॉन्ग एंड दैट सॉन्ग यूज टू कम एट सच अ वेरी एट सच अ पॉइंट वेन एवरीबडी इन दाउस is having a argument and there needed to be something which could you know dilute the situation or maybe you know change the direction of the of the direction of the play also at the point so they did sort of putting a song there and uh, it was supposed to be in the play it is supposed to be the birthday so everybody uh, so while every and looking All different directions. I propose. Okay, I've got this audio cassette with me, which has music on it, and I will sing a song for Maushi. And I put that cassette in the cassette player, and I turn it on. And I I used to sing. On that particular day, what happened was <clears throat> you have to eject it, no? To put the to carry. <coughs> so the man who was who was supposed to. <clears throat> put in the cassette he tried to eject it could it did not eject at all the flap that is that needs to come out did not and it was absolutely visible to the audience so for me it was i just throw my cassette inside as if i am the deck and i start singing the music starts playing and i say start singing that couldn't have happened because it was absolutely visible to the audience that the flap not opening and the cassette is not inserted in it <coughs> Excuse me. I think I talk too much. I'll just have a sip of water. <coughs> Switch on the AC also. <coughs> Bang on the door. Wait. <coughs> okay. So what happened? He couldn't press it in. The music couldn't play, and now. I was admitted that I'm going to sing something on this music. What do I do? <clears throat> so it struck me at point <coughs> that I need to sing something. So I just started singing. For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow. For he is a jolly good fellow, and so say all us. Then I held his hand, and I we took a nice made a nice circle around Maushi, 
Deepatre. He started singing the song. The lightman was lightman was clever enough. He understood the situation and he turned off all the lights into a blackout. And we managed that situation somehow. People didn't understand anything. Exactly. So that was a <clears throat> one incident that I could do. Uh, and now I think uh, I've nearly I'm be for an hour now. Uh, I'm surprised my Kutla uh, Saprasan. If there are any other questions, please let me know. How important is it to get formal training? Yeah, it it would surely help because now looking back, I feel if I was trained wherever I am now, I attained this position few years back. So any kind of training really helps you in the field of art. So like you, many painters uh, are born good painters, but if they are trained properly, they can be better trained painters. Similarly, there are born singers who can sing on their own. They sing properly. Unko so many achhi pehchan hoti hai. Unka sur gale se achha nikalta hai. Par agar unko thodi si training agar thoda sa classical base mil jaye, to wo apne aap aur zyada achha perform karte hain. Usi tarah ke agar acting mein bhi koi kisam ki agar training aap hasil kar lo ya aap attend kar lo, to that will surely help you. Experimental or commercial. I like. Uh, I don't like to basically distinguish between experimental and commercial theater. For for me as an actor, uh, I like both mediums because uh, and both are very necessary. As much commercial theater is necessary, I think amateur theater or experimental theater very necessary for actors to uh, learn many things and maybe hone their talent also. So both are very important. So I think uh, talked enough about acting. So I'm I'm sure you must have liked me, like my narration about whatever my journey was. I was very pretty honest in whatever I said. So I'm sure honesty is the best policy. So you like it. Before I believe, I would just again remind you. Tomorrow, little more on this page, same platform. There'll be some other guests who will be coming. So don't forget to join in at five o'clock, five p.m. tomorrow. And thanks for entertaining, for 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 being there. Uh, and thanks for being there while trying to entertain you a bit. If I have made any mistakes or if I have uh, goofed up, if my language wasn't proper, please excuse that. Marathi bhashi karna sudha. अभिवादन कर in the field of cancer, tuberculosis, you people are a boon to this world. I'm telling you. Keep doing such good work, and wherever we can be of help, or I can be of help. I'll be there. Thank you so much, sir. So take care. Okay. Take care. Bye. Stay home. Stay safe. Don't go anywhere. We are here. We are coming live on these on these platforms just to keep you all home. Okay. Stay home. Take care. Bye.